All right, today we're gonna to tear down the original NES Nintendo console. Remember this little square right here? I'm gonna come back and talk about it in a second. It's actually pretty interesting. There are six screws along the bottom, and then the plastic top just comes up and away from the rest of the console. And then there's four screws along this top shield. You can lift that up and away from the console as well. And that exposes the little cartridge slot that presses up and down in order to connect the cartridge itself with the system. There's two screws holding that in place, and then there's one screw holding the rest of the motherboard in place that you have to undo in order to lift the motherboard out and give you enough room to take off the little cartridge holder. And now that that's off, you can kind of see the little mechanism that it has in there to go up and down and hold it in place. And right here at the bottom of the system, there's two more screws holding on the black piece of plastic that holds the controller connectors in place. Once that's off, the controller connectors can just pull away from the system once they're unplugged from the main board themselves. I'm going to show you how to unplug them. These are kind of interesting connectors. You can't just pull them straight out. You have to actually lift up on the little white tabs first and then wedge the green connector out. And I'll show you a little closer right here just lifting it up and kind of prying it out at the same time. And then it pulls it away from the system. And then the same thing with the blue connector. They're in there pretty tight, especially after 20 years or so. Just kind of pull them out. And then there's one more shield that just comes away from the main board. And then you can see this little expansion slot right here is what we were talking about earlier. Minnesota actually came up with a, a lottery system that connected to a modem. It never actually took off, but it's pretty interesting that someone actually did make an accessory for the uh, NES console. And then here's the rest of the main board, and you can see right there the 72-pin connector where the cartridges came in. It was actually the worst part of the system. It was the most likely to fail. Luckily, it's pretty easy to swap out and only takes probably about two minutes. You just take it and then press right here and slide it away from the main board and then you can take your new part and slide it into place. Pretty simple. They're only about five or six bucks on Amazon. I'll put that in the video description below if you need one. Then there's the power buttons. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. Hope to see you around.